y'all, your girl is hot. Here in Texas, it's getting pretty hot. I hope that it doesn't discourage anybody from moving to Texas because it's a great state. But it's just summertime, it's that time of the year, the heat is rising. In my area, it's more humidity than anything. So this is probably not a good way to start the video, but <laughs> carrying all the groceries upstairs is a chore and a workout and everything in between. So <clears throat> I still want to make sure I gave you guys a grocery haul. As you know from my last video, my refrigerator was not working properly. It wasn't blowing any cold air. All of my food, most of it had to be thrown out because it got really bad. Like even my chicken was starting to get all, it was all thawed and it was starting to smell and it was just not pretty. It wasn't pretty. I didn't want to share all that part of the video with y'all because it wasn't pretty. So still true life. I am super hot and I'm sweaty, but I still wanted to come on here and show y'all the haul because I know y'all really like these hauls. So I went to HEB. It was almost like a spontaneous type trip. <clears throat> I was gonna pull off doing grocery shopping tomorrow, but I was out and about. It was a beautiful day. It's not raining here. So I thought, let me just go ahead and give y'all a haul. So I just shopped at HEB as far as groceries. And as y'all know, I just share just the food part. I don't share the other stuff. Even though I was in need of cleaning products, mostly cleaning products as well as I need of uh, for today and for the month of June. So let me stop chatting and let me show you the haul. Okay guys, I'm gonna start on this side. Um, I just kind of, as you could see, just kind of put things out together. I try to lay out as neat as I could, but your girl is hot and I'm hungry and I'm, I just wanna share this with y'all. So I did buy some lettuce. Also guys, I'm not gonna really share how much each item was unless I really, really remember. I'll just put that at the end of the video like I do at most of the hauls that y'all enjoy watching. So I'll just put that at the end. So I may not be able to remember everything specifically, but again, if you have an HEB, check out your local HEB and the prices may be kinda close, if not the same. I also picked up some tomatoes for salads. I want to make wraps. I was really inspired by um, by Chick-fil-A's Cool Wraps. So I was really inspired by that. So um, as you guys probably don't know, I'm also um, an educator. And so I am off for the summer for the most part, minus summer school. Um, and so I thought for the week while I'm teaching and things like that, I can still eat pretty healthy with doing wraps. I also got some green onion. I picked up some Colby and Monterey Jack sliced cheese. I got this, this is something new. This is the flat out half the calories, half the net carbs, light original. 13 grams, 10 grams of fiber, seven grams of protein. So let's see how true it is. Um, right here, get this adjusted. Okay, 90, 90 uh, calories, uh, cholesterol zero, sodium is kind of high, uh, carbs is mm, kind of high too, in my opinion, um, but I still grabbed it anyway because I didn't check the back before I purchased it. <laughs> so I'm going to eat this. And right here, this is the Mama Mary's uh, pizza crust. I've never had this pizza crust before. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, y'all know I like to pick up the pizza, the veggie pizza uh, brand. It has all the special things. So I thought I'd make my own pizza this time and just have fun with that. Um, let me start back here. I got the sweet potato Alexia non-GMO with sea salt and black pepper. It says it's perfectly seasoned. I've had this before. The, they, I like to get the potato fries. Um, they were sold out of the potato fries. I mean, to me, it's not a surprise because they are the bomb.com. So I went ahead and picked this up. I will tell you guys, like me, I'm pretty sensitive to some things, things that are sweet and salty because I don't consume a lot of those kind of things. So the sea salt is kind of heavy, a little heavy on the heavy side. So if you do eat this with something else, you don't need to really add any extra salt. Um, I also picked up this uh, fajita vegetable blend. It has the red, the green, uh, bell pepper, and it also has onion. I picked up some mango chunks. I picked up some whole strawberries. 
this right here, how many ounces? This is 16 ounces. And I want to say, okay, this is 12 ounces, so a little less. Um, I do get these a lot of times at Aldi, but um, I didn't feel like making multiple trips. It's hot. The girl wanted to get inside in some AC, so I didn't do that today. So I, I just risked the convenience instead of worrying about the cost, and there you go. I also got the shell. Y'all may make fun of me of this, the saying this name. Uh, edamame? Edamame? I don't know. I had salad the other day at Salada. And I just forgot how much I like this type of bean. It's 12 ounces. So I grabbed that. I didn't even know H-E-B sold this. I didn't even know they sold this. So um, I'm excited about that. I love those. Um, I also picked up some ground turkey. I picked up some mesquite smoke turkey breast with white turkey meat. And then I also picked up at H-E-B, they do have a section where they pre-make stuff. And so I got the Mill Simple Kale Salad. And this has cranberries and pepitas in it. I absolutely love that. This did cost me $3.56. It's a big portion. Uh, the date is pretty good. Um, I will eat this probably this evening with something else. I picked up some baby spinach as well. This was nine ounces. I got some green grapes. I also picked up a beef eye of round steak and there's four of them in here and it was only 513. So I thought that was pretty good for this. Uh, 513 for this and so I'll make that with some potatoes. Uh, did I show y'all? Sorry y'all. I don't think I got this too. I don't think I showed that to you. <laughs> That's why I want to make sure. When I mentioned potatoes, it caused me to remember, wait a minute, did I mention potatoes that I bought it? I also got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and this was $5.89. I also picked up some eggs as well. I'm going to have to take a break really quick. Some of my stuff is starting to melt or thaw, so let me throw that in the freezer really quick, and I'll continue the haul. Okay, I am back, guys. So what I have here is kind, healthy grains, oat and honey with toasted coconut. This is a snack. Um, this right here has five granola. This right here, I can top with some salad. This is the tri-color tortilla strips. And this is 3.5 ounces. I grabbed this. I used to get this a lot back in the day. So this is Orchard Valley Harvest and Antioxidant Mix. And it has almonds. It also has dried sweetened cranberries and blueberries, cashews, and pepitas. And there are eight in here and they're one ounce each. Whenever I'm running errands, um, I, instead of me being tempted to stop somewhere and grab something to eat, um, I can just put this in my purse ahead of time before I leave the house and have this on the go. So it's a great snack and I think it's a great healthy choice as well. I also grabbed some egg rolls. There's 12 in here. For the longest time, I didn't see egg rolls at H-E-B. So I was really happy that they have these now, or at least I've noticed just now. So I'm grateful that I noticed. I also picked up two of these pineapple chunks right here. Now these are 20 ounces each. So it's a pretty good size. I love pineapples. Of course, I prefer the fresh pineapples, but I didn't purchase that. Uh, this time I just grabbed the can and it's not too bad. It's pineapples. I mean, it, I like that it has pineapple for the ingredient and pineapple juice for the ingredient. So I like that it's not in like heavy syrup or light syrup. Um, even when it says light syrup, guys, um, I just steer clear. I just don't even touch that kind of stuff. Um, this right here is distilled white vinegar. You can use it for pickling, salads, and marinades. I'll probably use it for salads and marinades, among other stuff. I'm a huge dill pickle relish type girl, so I had to replace a lot of my condiments since a lot of them went bad last time. So um, this right here. Is what I got. I also grabbed this traditional pizza sauce right here and this is for the pizza 
that I plan on making really soon. So that goes with the pizza. And also that spinach I gotten, that's gonna go with my pizza and whatever else I can find to top it off with. Uh, this right here is uh, real mayo, light Italian dressing. This is great for marinades, great for salads, of course, and anything else you wanna use. And this is like a staple at my house, y'all. I love honey mustard dressing. Like, that's like my dipping sauce. You know, some people, they they favor like ranch or Polynesian sauce or Chick-fil-A sauce, which I love Chick-fil-A sauce. I mean, that's good too. But uh, this is like, I gotta have this. <laughs> this is like my go-to salad dressing, sauces for chickens and things like that. Like, this is my fave, absolute fave. When I go to restaurants, I request this. Anything else, I request this. So. Honey mustard can't go wrong with that here. And then I also grab my coconut water. I only grab one this time. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Every time I go to Aldi, it's not there. And they're like, the truck didn't come and bring it. I, I guess it's just low in stock or I don't know. I don't know. So I, I have to always reserve to this. And it's not too bad, but it's just a little more pricier. And I got one this time. It's natural coconut water without pulp. I can't stand pulp, even in orange juice. So I always am a pulp free type of girl. And this right here is great for a quick dinner. I don't know if y'all do this. You can grab these anywhere, um, any kind of grocery store for the most part. But I got the original rotisserie chicken and H-E-B does not disappoint. So their chicken is pretty good. I can also use this with the wrap if I want to or nachos if I want to make nachos with it or something like that. So great. And this is a pretty big portion for me. This is 32 ounces. So this will last me for a while for this week so that is my grocery haul there from h-e-b okay so that is my grocery haul from h-e-b and for this week and probably for the next few weeks or so um guys i'm so grateful that you stopped by to see what's going on in my life and i appreciate the support i noticed i got new subscribers and you guys have been commenting and sending me comments i enjoy the interaction um thank you so much again for stopping by bye i really hope you guys are doing okay really just don't be discouraged about whatever's going on in your life i just feel like let to just say this right now do not lose hope god is with you you have favor with the lord he loves you he is faithful do not lose hope whatever situation i feel like somebody need to hear that so i hope you are having a blessed day and know that you are loved and know that you are cared for and i will see you in the next video bye